So there's this star, nearly 1,500 light years away from Earth. And we have this telescope that's been staring right at it for a number of years. But scientists say something strange keeps getting in between the telescope and the star. They can't figure out what it is. Let's bring in CBS News science contributor Michio Kaku. Okay, what is happening? Why is this star causing scientists to wonder in fascination what might be out there? Well, we don't know. And this could be the biggest story of the past 500 years, bigger than the discovery of America by Columbus, or it could be the biggest wild goose chase since the Loch Ness Monster. Okay, okay well, now you've given us a huge dichotomy of possibilities. Let's explain it. This is a star called Kick. I'm, I like to call it Kick, but it's KIC 8462852. That's its official name. The Kepler Space Telescope is out there. Can you explain why scientists and why space lovers are fascinated by what's happening with this? This star is breaking all the rules. We have to rewrite astronomy textbooks. Basically, if a planet eclipses the mother star, goes in front of the mother star, starlight drops by maybe 1% at maximum. However, starlight has been dropping at 22%. There is a colossal, humongous object of some sort blocking the starlight from this star. Okay, so imagine if you're in a movie theater and you see the spotlight coming from behind you, and on the stage what you're seeing is a huge nebulous rectangle of shadow, and you don't know what's causing the rectangle of shadow on the stage, right? Something like that. Okay, could it be an alien superstructure? That's what we're speculating. We've ruled out all the usual suspects, rogue planets, comets, asteroids, what's left but Star Trek. We're talking about what is called a Type II civilization that could build a gigantic sphere, perhaps bigger than Jupiter, to absorb starlight. And this, of course, is right out of science fiction, but here we are staring at it, and we have no logical explanation other than to assume that perhaps just perhaps it's made by a civilization a few thousand years more advanced than ours, like the Federation of Planets. Wait, does that put us back in, like, Cro-Magnon status? Well, compared to them, it, yes. Uh, we are what is called a type zero civilization. We get our energy from oil and coal. Type one would be like Buck Rogers, planetary civilization. This civilization is stellar. They can manipulate the energy of a star if it pans out. Okay, so I, I'm left baffled because they also spotted this star in 2009. This is October 2015. Why are we just talking about it now? Because as Carl Sagan said, remarkable claims require remarkable proof. If you're going to say that this discovery ranks with the discovery of America by Columbus, if it's on that kind of scale, you better be sure that it's not some kind of hoax or some kind of dust on the telescope. And if this potential hypothetical civilization is a thousand years more advanced than we are, why haven't they made contact with us? Are we as human beings just not ready for that? Well, if you go down a country road and see an anthill, do you, talk, go, do you go down to the ants and say, <laughs> I bring you trinkets, I bring you beads, I give you nuclear energy, take me to your ant queen, or you have this politically incorrect urge to step on a few of them? Uh, yeah, right, that's a very good point. It's equally as good as my theater metaphor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like both. So why should they land on the White House lawn? We have nothing to offer them. If they can build an object bigger than Jupiter, I mean, we have nothing to offer Are them. Are we going to get answers in our lifetime about this? Well, next we're going to focus our radio telescope to see whether we can eavesdrop on their Isle of Lucy. Maybe they too have, uh, you know, Leave it to Beaver and TV shows like that. So we're going to focus our radio efforts now on this star to see whether there's any regular radio emissions from that planet. Oh, it's so exciting. Michio, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure.